unboxing Hawkwind the new late charisma period box set as you see we're doing this on the masters of the universe blanket which of course is what you need in the winter not this winter now of course it's supposedly spring and here it is what a booty and there's Bob Carbot on the front there and we're looking at about 10 by 10 and of course some of these box sets is that they're all different sizes and racking them is a, is a heck of a job so mine end up in boxes so there we go there's been an awful lot of speculation and talk about this on um sort of facebook pages and what have you and it's, it seems to me that the majority of the fan base are rather disgruntled about this release because of what it doesn't contain and people are saying you know they're being fleeced again for the same old material but what fascinates me about this is and you know i don't want to call that negativity everybody's entitled to their their opinion on this because there's lots of people out there have been fans for a long time they've bought the material time and time again i know i have but for me what really made this special for me is the fact that it's got the three albums which are included on this a number of times which are of course quark strangers and charm there is a video about quark strangers and charm on the channel which explains it's a science fiction masterpiece and if you're one of my science fiction viewers who doesn't normally listen to Hawkins, has never heard them you really should they are the ultimate science fiction band and i'm going to talk through why that is as i do the unboxing and yes yeah, so quark strangers and charm from 1977 then we have hawk lords 25 years on from 1978 another great science fiction album a concept album and then we have pxr5 which is an album put together from bits and finish pieces of some studio material some live material and it's some um, it's a strange one pxr5 i mean i like all three of them so here it is and as you see very handsome box set and as i say the fan base seems to be disgruntled as a body because of this material has been released before and they and there's a lot of talk about what about unreleased material from live gigs what have you you always get this with Hawkwind but for me the the sort of thing with this really is the fact that those three albums are presented in here on blu-ray audio in 5.1 surround mixes now it astonishes me how few Hawkwind fans seems to seem to have adopted 5.1 I've been a 5.1 fan for years and you know if you think that records can be really good in stereo and two speakers when it goes up to up to six which is what you have with 5.1 it's just astonishing really you know and it does depend on the quality of the mix and this is Stephen Wilson who you know into some people is like a tin god I mean I don't mind a bit of porcupine tree um, but you know it, it, he does seem to dominate that thing so here's the actual fold out of the discs so there we are so we have what do we have this disc here live at fairfield hall croydon and live at the gormont ipswich and that's a cd um live at demo De montford hall leicester and that's a cd new mix and then we have sonic assassins live at queensway hall barnstable and of course most of this if not always been available before it's a new mix um and we have live at brunel university axbridge which is a cd as well then we have let's take a look we have quark strangers and charm and that's on a blu-ray audio with a 5.1 surround sound and stereo mix fantastic and there's bonus visual content quark strangers and charm mark boland tv appearance and that's the one that dave brock wouldn't appear on and here we have 25 years on and pxr5 on blu-ray audio as well and it's got bonus visual feature hawk lords live at brunel university axbridge now this is a legendary video recording that we've all known about for decades and decades and people are complaining that there's only two tracks rather than we think there were six or eight recorded and you know i completely understand that and i must say that really would have made the sort of 90 pound price point a you know that would have been the thing for a lot of people you know they would have really gone for it because it is expensive especially if you bought these records time and time again but to have three albums blu-ray audio 5.1 is unprecedented i've never come across another box set that does that maybe some of the king crimson ones do but that's great because you know some of the box sets which have come and you know come out of me have been really expensive the roxy music one for the roxy music album first roxy album and i can't see why anybody who likes sort of classic period early hawkwind wouldn't like roxy i mean if you compare say the middle section of um gray lagoons with the middle section of space is deep then you know it's game over really they're pretty much the same sort of thing they're they're very very similar sonically and what have you so yeah um 
but it would have been nice to have all of those so in here we've got some more discs and we've got quartz Rage and charm steven wilson remix i don't do bother i don't really like remixes to me remixes are dance music thing they're not a rock and roll thing rockfield studio sessions 25 years on steven wilson remix pxr5 steven wilson remix well they may be better but we'll see i tend to prefer original mixes let's say i, I regard remixes as as a sort of dance music thing not a rock, rock and roll thing and we've also got this is rather nice look at this you've got a rather nice poster there with some of the quark yeah some of the tour dates and what have you fantastic there we are and you know i must have bought these albums six or seven times i don't know and there's a book as well which has got some of the barney bubbles pictures in there from the hawk lords album and of course there's the famous live show and as i say the blu-ray one of the blu-rays has a couple of tracks um maybe the others are up to par but you know we do want to see that release so i do understand people being fed up there's the old family tree by the very wonderful pete frame you can learn so much from these they're just great i mean i bought the the pete frame books way way back decades and decades and decades ago and they teach you so much about rock and roll and yeah lyrics from the inner sleeve design of quark that of course was available as a poster at one point fantastic live shot there of hawk lords there you go and essays photographs what have you so that's rather handsome and i'm playing the 5.1 mixes today so for science fiction fans what can we say about these records well the thing is is that hawkwind are the ultimate science fiction band robert calvert who is the lead vocalist at that point he'd been their poet beforehand he really was you know he was a writer first and a singer second he wrote a novel called hype he wrote poetry he wrote plays he died very young i think he was 43 this would have been 87 88 he had all sorts of mental health issues very sad um huge personality he was also part of the theater rock thing he sort of came from the same school as gabriel and bowie in terms of performance assuming characters wearing costumes larger than life but he was a really well-read guy you know his poetry appeared in new worlds magazine the new wave sf magazine which ed edited by michael moorcock and later by hillary bailey and charles platt central to british sf in the 60s and 70s the point when sf was part of the counterculture underground and of course moorcock came from ladbrook grove um, Notting Hill Gate and that's where Hawkin formed of course so they knew each other and Moorcock would perform live with them on stage he's on Warrior on the Edge of Time he's on Sonic Assassins so if you're a science fiction and fantasy reader and you've not discovered Hawkin in the 1970s you really need to and I would urge you to get Joe Banks's book which is entitled Days of the Underground rather like this box set and Days of the Underground is a track from Quark Strangers and Charm and um, I get a credit in that because I was sort of like suggested some um, ideas about the science fiction angles to um to joe and i get an acknowledgement which is really really nice because we got in contact first about this way back in about 2014 um while he was starting to write and research the book so yeah quark strangers and charm is an album full of science fiction songs including spirit of the age which is a wonderful narrative about suspended animation clones sex robots all that sort of stuff and this is way back in 1977 damnation alley of course is there and damnation alley is a song based on the novel by the very wonderful roger salazny hawkwind are fond of roger salazny there's a couple of salazny inspired things lord of light is another one jack of shadows is another one from um, pxr5 and there's lots of other great things in your quark strangers and charm itself is a very funny song about how physicists would struggle and astronomers struggle to get girlfriends as references to Einstein and all those sort of things <laughs> it's very witty indeed and fable of a failed race wonderful science fiction song really beautiful there's also um, the iron dream an instrumental which is rather like hosts Mars from the planet suite and it's entitled after Norman Spinrad's novel the iron dream which is set in an alternate world where Adolf Hitler um, leaves Germany, he moves to America, and he becomes a pop science fiction writer, and he writes a novel called Lord of the Swastika, and it's a very irreverent parody of the sort of inherent fascism in some SF and heroic fantasy sword and sorcery. So it's redolent of that sort of imagery. And then Hawk Lords 25 Years On, which is um, the next album, 
it's really interesting because it's a concept album and it's about a factory where angels wings are made from old car doors and it's very dystopian and it's a wonderful wonderful record there's there's a video about that on the channel as well where i go into the lyrics and what have you it's about a young boy who has psi powers he's telepathic so has links to things like dying inside by robert silverberg and the journal of nicholas the american by lee kennedy though it precedes that one by quite a few years it's got songs about automation the alienation that modern man feels working in factories is partially inspired by a book called small creeps day which is very very interesting and also uh, mike rutherford from genesis did did an album inspired by that but that was a few years after the hawk the um hawk lords one and hawkwind called themselves hawk lords then simply because it was a legal thing and it was an opportunity for calvert and brock um the, the leaders of the band to sort of really sort of start afresh and it has more of a new wave sound and these are hawking that they stripped down before this is a lot of swirling psychedelics um a lot of chugging guitar and these are a lot more sleek and new wavy um and they do fit in with the tenure of the times so if you like things like the stranglers and magazine these are perfect and they're really sort of pinpoint sharp records they're really great stuff and then you've got pxr5 which is which more of a sort of a mix of different things as i say there's the wonderful chicken run song death trap which always reminds me of the run christopher priest's first short story jack of shadows as i say which is a roger Zelazny inspired thing uncle sam's on mars which is about american imperialism on other planets the very wonderful infinity which is a beautiful beautiful song based on a calvert poem very sort of folky and fantastic um robot of course works on the asimov three laws of robotics but it's really about how human beings have become robotic in their sort of routine lives and it doesn't pull any punches it's fantastic stuff high rise is not about or connected to the ballard book other than its title but you always think of ballard there so that's the new box set um i did notice it's got a dear bit of a ding down it's just really annoying because the box was ding but you know I, I can live with that i really want this just for the 5.1 mixes so um once i listen to those i might do a post and see what i think of those as well thanks for watching bye for now